What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. This is another video that I'm making for the Hogwarts Legacy fans, because I've always kind of sensed that there will be controversy surrounding this game, not necessarily only from the social perspective, <laughs> wait for the technical controversy to then kick in, and you'll understand what I mean. Now, regarding this, there is some level of a social side of the perception of Hogwarts Legacy right now, that a lot of people seem to be maybe somewhat bashing the game. Some people seem to not be satisfied. They would love to see the world burn. In fact, Podcast Now, fellow content creator in this space, posted that some users had identified with their tags on Steam some of the different categorizations of Hogwarts Legacy that are just not necessarily what you would have expected and categorically false. But I wanted to encourage Hogwarts Legacy fans to do one thing in order for them to be able to enjoy or at least get a sense of the product that they're about to purchase, and that is to stay focused on the game itself. Look very deeply, assess, evaluate, and continue to engage with the content and the marketing in order for you to be able to make a sound decision so that it's not one of trying to maybe one-up somebody, but one where you're going to buy a product that you actually enjoy. I get it. There are fans that are definitely going to enjoy this game. You're signed on. You already have a pre-order copy. You waited for years to see this particular vision come to fruition, and you're not going to let anybody ruin it for you. But then there are also some of you that still have questions, and somewhere, somehow, this is probably providing some kind of a smoke screen. This entire fiasco surrounding the game where, you know, people are in their own little bubble talking in different directions, but somehow we're missing the overall picture if we don't necessarily pay attention to what needs to be paid attention to. You see, one thing about video game assessment is that you're very good at cutting through the BS in order for you to be able to make sound decisions about a video game, or at least, even if you've already decided, create a perception that's going to give you the very best experience overall. Especially in a world where communication right now is so easy and everything can disseminate information so fast, it is actually quite important for that to happen. I'll give you guys a few reasons why I'm actually going ahead to talk about this because I was at the forefront of a video game that was very polarizing. In fact, I thought that was probably going to be the most polarizing video game we were going to see for 2022, and I was correct, and that was Gotham Knights. I was able to cut through a lot of the BS surrounding that game. I covered the game for a long time. I walked through every single thing and looked at how the developers were revealing the game. By the time the game came out, I knew exactly what it was, and many of you in the community knew exactly what the game was and how you wanted to engage with the game. For the most part, a lot of folk on the internet did not really know and went in in terms of the conversation with an entirely different perspective in terms of how they would have perceived the game to be. Even the reviewers themselves were lacking in the way they perceived the game, basically mentioning Arkham and comparing it to Arkham in their different reviews and different coverage that it was so weird to see a lot of journalists on the forefront of not even understanding what the game was about. Now, I know this is a whole separate analogy, a different game, different circumstance, but all of that took away from exactly the crux of what that game was. And I see that same danger here with Hogwarts Legacy because these things seem to want to detract from a lot of what this particular audience needs, what the marketing team needs to continue to do, and what the developers actually have to celebrate. And I have to say this, I feel very, very bad for developers today. Yes, there are some developers that have probably not helped their own situation. And yes, I can understand gamers are an interesting bunch. As a YouTuber here, you get comments piled upon your channel if people don't necessarily agree with you. But at the end of the day, developers just want to do their jobs. But left and right, they're getting hounded, getting attacked. You know, their work is kind of a reflection of their craftsmanship. And as artists, you know, usually are, I've noticed that for them, a lot of their work is somewhat of an extension of themselves. No, I'm not saying that, you know, all artists basically see their work as their identity in a sense. But if you attack an artist's work, it's something that comes from the creative process. You can critique it. You can find upsides to it. But I think a lot of this assault on Hogwarts Legacy is much more, you know, much deeper than a lot of these folk realize. They are increasingly trying to do damage to the developers themselves 
And I'm telling you, this has got to be one of the worst things that I've ever seen. But when you look at all of that, I still want to go ahead and maintain my position to the fans and say, focus on what is more important on Hogwarts Legacy. Look at mechanics. Take time to read articles. Evaluate what versions you want to buy, how and when you want to buy it, all of those things. Enjoy the process of the game getting released. If you're hyped and you're you know, expectant of playing the game, make that a priority for you in a sense. Let that be something that you pretty much are you know, expending your energy on and do not let this drama come in any way to come and you know, distract you because there are two sides to it. The drama could poison your perception or it could actually remove your focus from maybe something that might present a red flag for you that you don't see. And then after you buy the game, you're not necessarily thrilled by it all. And if at any rate, you want to go ahead and buy the game as, you know, pretty much a middle finger to anybody else, it's your money, do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, I understand. And I know that you're doing that for that reason. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. Hey, by all means, you know, take it on, put it on the table, light it on fire. Hey, you know, congrats to you. And I've seen some of those comments and they're quite interesting as to the motivations, but I'd love for as many fans as possible to continue to keep their eye on the game pre-release in order for us to be able to get a solid conversation across the board. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys' time and audience. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section and hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.